Hello, my name is Kyle Bradshaw from Nelson Rig, and today I'm going to show you how you can put a Rotopax onto your Rig Gear Adventure quick release plate. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is to purchase a pack mount and a Rotopax. That's going to allow you to have the necessary tools that you need and hardware to bolt this up to our plate. Now, if you're just mounting this to our plate and you're not running our saddlebags on the plate, all of this hardware here is a perfect fit. You just bolt it up and you ride. Now, if you're going to run our Rig Gear Adventure Hurricane, Sierra, or Trails End saddlebags on this rack at the same time you're running the Rotopax, it does work great, but you're going to need to go to the hardware store and pick up four quarter inch spacers. Now, the reason that we need these four quarter inch spacers is the fact that when the Rotopack sits against this plate right here, you can see it covers up the side holes that we have that our side straps run through when attaching our saddlebags to this plate. So the installation is extremely easy. We're going to lay our plate down here on the table. We're then going to take each of our four spacers here and just set them right here on the front of the plate. We're now going to take each of our supplied bolts and run them down through the plate. Now we're going to set back down in place and align all the holes. Now with all four of those bolts run down through the plate, I'm going to take my washer and my lock nut and secure them from the back side. With those all in place, I can flip the rack over and put final torque on it with my ratchet. With the pack mount installed, our roto pack can can now sit right onto our plate and be secured just like so. You now have a quick release way to get a one gallon roto pack on and off your vehicle. And that's how simple it is to get a roto pack mount onto our quick release luggage plate. Now that we have our one gallon gas can installed onto the plate, we're going to grab our Hurricane saddlebags and install the saddlebags over the top. If you haven't already watched the installation of the saddlebags onto our quick release plate, I'd highly recommend you go take a look at that. This process with the fuel can is almost the same, but there's only one thing that's different. We're going to have to remove our can buckles before we feed our line through the rack. As with our other installation, we're going to begin by removing each of the side straps. We're now going to lay the saddlebag down on its face. We're going to set the rack up here on the back of the saddlebag. We're now going to take our throwover strap and run it through the two lower compartments or lower slats of this rack. Make sure those are relatively even. We're now going to pull our throwover straps up through the top of the rack and into our tension lock buckle. Now that we have the top straps loosely run, we're going to go over to the side. We're going to remove our cam buckles and run our straps through each of these side holes. Once you pass the strap through each of the holes, we're going to go ahead and reinstall each of our cam hooks. We're now going to pass our cam hooks through the side of the bag and around to the front. Now that the straps have come through the side, we can go ahead and attach them around to the front and begin to secure them. Now that each of the straps have been pulled through, we're going to go ahead and take each side. We're going to pull these nice and tight making sure that the Rotopax is sandwiched between the saddlebag and the rack. We're going to roll our excess back on itself and tuck it inside our elastic strap keepers. Once the side straps have all been attached and pulled nice and tight, we're going to finish off by making sure that we have our throwover straps here pulled as tight as we can get them. The majority of the weight of these saddlebags are going to be held by this throwover strap up here at the top. So these straps up here at the top being nice and tight is key to the proper function and use of these saddlebags. And there you have it. We now have a one gallon Rotopax attached in between our Hurricane saddlebag and our quick release luggage plate. This is a great way to carry one gallon of fuel with you when you're out there on the trail. If you have any questions about this setup, please leave a comment down below or contact Nelson Rig and we'll be happy to answer those questions as soon as they come in. Carl Bradshaw, thanks for watching. Till next time, take care.
and ride safe out there.